Hey Virgo, hope everybody's doing well. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Uh, personal reading links and everything else you need is in the description box below. And hello everybody in the chat. I hope you're doing well. All right, Virgo. So this is going to be for October as per usual. Um, please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Did I say that already? Am I like repeating? Am I a repeat, a repeating Peter? If I didn't, <laughs> there you go. If I did, well, it is what it is. All right, let me see here. Now, I just recorded a 35, 40 minute reading and I uploaded it, get it all out there and ready for you. And guess what? The volume was so choppy. Um, and I think yesterday's reading was a little bit like that too. Um, I dropped my, I have a Blue Yeti and I've had it for like, like seven years and I dropped it on the floor. So I think maybe it's done. So I'm going to have to get a new one. So forgive my, my, uh, the sound, the audio. I hope, hopefully it's okay. Anyway, I need to stop rambling. I just wanted to shuffle a little and get some, I just want to listen. I just want to, I want to get like what you just need to know. That's all I want to look at right now. What, you, what Virgo needs to know for the month of October. Okay. You have the moon, Piscean energy, some secrets. There are secrets, uh, illusions. There are dreams. Okay. Let me see. Things are, things coming to light, getting a, a teeny, like an ounce of clarity about how you feel about something. Okay. Um, let me see what's going on. The moon is all about the emotions, the cycles and the changes. Okay. Let me see. All right. Queen of Swords, Page of Cups, Justice, and the Emperor. Okay. This is definitely about clarity, about how you're feeling, about what you want to do, about what's the right path for you to take. Okay. This could have something to do with an Emperor, Aries, or a, a Pisces, or a Libra. There's definitely communication coming in here for you, Virgo, in September. Um, I'm hearing also somebody, I feel like you're, you're going to be saying to somebody, um, no, you have your dukes up, man. You have your dukes up. I feel like you're going to be like, you're not sure about someone. I feel like you're going to get like a sweet text message or communication from someone, but you've got your sword drawn. Oh, okay. You definitely have your sword drawn. You're, you're giving somebody like you're dropping some, sh some truth bombs on somebody here. Um, yes. Gemini, Aquarian energy, something to do with um, a family member, a legal situation regarding a family or something to do with a marriage or a relationship of some sort. These cards at the bottom look great, okay? But the top is like, hmm, I feel like you're pissed. <laughs> are you mad, Virgo? Are you like pissed about something? Uh, I don't know what's going on. That moon energy makes me feel like there was some deception and lies. Okay, first court card, or second court card, King of Cups. Okay, you might be hmm, finding something out that somebody's been, I don't know, texting another person or there was some kind of communication or something or somebody comes in and messages you or sweet text message and you're just like, oh, you're showing up out of the dark. Like, are you a ghost? Like, are you, like, are you even real? <laughs> Is this real life? Yeah. Okay. So you're definitely having some communication with someone, um, but you're sitting, I feel, in the position of the Queen of Swords. Okay. Because that was the first card that came out for you. I feel like, and that can be a Virgo card. You're being clear and concise, crystal clear. Okay. Virgo, I feel like there was a connection with somebody perhaps in the past, where somebody like disappeared on you. That moon card is like being deceptive, hiding in the shadows, hiding in the dark. Somebody's coming out of hiding and you're going to get some communication. And Virgo, I feel like you're, you're like, bring it on because I have something to say. <laughs> Virgo, bring it on. This could be like, this could be a parent. This could be some of you are connecting or I'm hearing a parent, maybe a father figure. Um, something to do also with a child somebody was disappeared on you and didn't like hasn't seen the child or the grandchild something along those lines i just feel like you have your claws out in october okay definitely definitely okay so 
Virgo, I feel like there's definitely some truth coming out from someone here sitting in the emperor position. Okay, Aries energy. Um, they're going to try to make something right here with you to correct a situation. This, somebody wants to like have a reunion, um, get married, be in some kind of a connection with you. Okay, now they could uh, represent the emperor or empress energy, someone that sits in a position of authority, someone that sits in a position of like fertility, um, children, motherhood, fatherhood, that kind of thing, but showing up in the king of cups energy. Um, yeah, six of cups being very sweet and wanting some kind of, uh, reconciliation, um, hasn't let go of the past, that kind of stuff. But you know, Virgo, quite frankly, you know, I, I just kind of feel like you are in this position here, right? The hermit, you've been in hermit mode, and you also have the four of cups. It's like, I don't know so much about that reconciliation shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. What are you talking about? I don't know. I like being alone. I, I just, I'm not done with, I'm done with it. Like, I don't want to have that back again. Uh, is that what's going on with you? I don't know. You've got other options or you, that you'll be presented with options. And I do feel like you're going to like go within and try to sort it out yourself. But right here, right here, someone tries to reach out to you. Like, I'm not saying you're going to hit somebody over the head with a hammer. I don't feel like that's energy playing out. But I do feel like you're going to speak some truth. You have something to say. You have something to say. Because I feel like you were left in the dark about something. Or a, a certain matter or a particular thing. And, and maybe you find out or it comes to you. You get like your intuition. It's like, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. But I see somebody here is coming in that's trying to like give you kindness and, and, and that's what that, no, but Virgo, you're like, no, you don't want that. You're not like, you have something to say first. I don't feel like, all right. So overall, you're not accepting any apologies because I do feel like someone's going to try to apologize to you. You're not ready to forgive. You're not ready to accept an apology from someone yet because you have to speak your mind. You have to say your piece. You have a boundary that you need to set. And I see... October, you're going to set that boundary. Uh, you might even say, I don't want to hear any excuses. You owe me an apology for what you did to, as a decent human being, you know. Um, now, it, listen, my personal opinion, I personally don't feel like anybody owes me anything. I owe, owe it to myself to take care of self. But you might be feeling like you might be in this position where, you might be saying, you know, I'm not, we can't work this out until you like come with that bloody stump, until you're like ready to sort out these problems. Because for some of you, you might have had, you might have had a connection with someone that's constantly screwing up and then apologizing over and over. And, you know, apology with no action behind it is just manipulation. So I feel like a lot of you, that's why you have something you need to say. Okay. And it might even be for some of you that you're, you got your sword drawn and you're like, no, I'm cutting this thing off. If you haven't done it already, or if you've done it before, I feel like somebody might come in with this sweetness, this childlike, oh, you know, I'm so sorry. And then they play up on your emotions, but like that doesn't work with Virgo. It doesn't. That, that's usually why Virgos are single because it's not that they're mean or anything. It's just Virgo is very cl crystal clear and can see, right? Like Virgos can cut right through the clouds. They know when someone's playing games. They know when someone is trying to pull the wool over their eyes because like Virgos, Virgo, if you were a superhero, you, your, your main superpower would be x-ray vision because you can see right through the bullshit all the time. You know, um, even if somebody's trying to be nice, it's like, it doesn't matter how nice you are. It matters like how you make amends. You know what I mean? Like, um, if you get upset and you break somebody's vase because you're angry, you know, you can go and say you're sorry all you want, but you also have to replace their vase. <laughs> like you got to make amends or else it's just manipulation. Okay. So yeah, you've got somebody in here who's trying to come in. They, you know, they want like coming in with you know, very deep emotional energy. They want to make things right. They want to be what they need to be for you. Um, you know, even if there's like a legal issue between you and them or something to do with money or anything, I mean, there's no pentacle energy here yet. So that may only be for a small amount of you, but, um, uh, it's even something like uh, I made a mistake divorcing you or, uh, or cutting this relationship off. I'm sorry. I took you to court. <laughs> 
I don't know what that's got, you know, some legal issues. Maybe this person's like sits in a military position or they're a lawyer or, you know, um, maybe in police or something. Whatever it is, is somebody come in here like, you know, I want the kids back or I want to connect with the kids. Like, I don't know, you got some drama, Virgo. You got some drama, okay? And you're sitting right there like, <laughs> Virgo. You're looking at that love thing and you're like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Look at the face. It's like, what? I just kind of feel like it's it's like you got to be out of your mind. I don't know why I feel that. But Virgo, you do want love. You do want that beautiful partner and connection and that like this here. Okay, that represents harmony, appreciation of each other, self-sacrifice, loyalty, responsibility to each other. It's not just about affection. It's not just about kissing. You know, yeah, that's all there, but there's, there's more to it. You know, and I feel like, Virgo, you're looking at love as like the way it should be, you know, the way it should be. I feel like it's, it's not, you can't even go along the lines of like saying, well, if someone loves you, they'll never leave you. That's not always true. Sometimes people leave because they're emotionally unstable and has nothing to do with their love or they have other problems. Like, does this person love you? Yeah. But I feel like they are just that moon. Like I said, the moon is like the cycles, right? Like your menstrual cycle, you go through the ups and downs, it's like a roller coaster. You've got somebody some type of connection with someone who's in and out of your life. They're up and down. They're unstable. The moon energy is instability. Okay. Um, when it's in the reverse, it's clarity. It's like that full moon. It brightens everything. You know what's going on, right? The full moon is when that's when we always set our, our intentions. We don't do it in a half moon. We don't do it in a waxing or waning moon, right? We do it in the new moon and we do it in the full moon. So what I feel like is this is Gemini energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh gosh, very little fire. And you know something, except for Aries, very little fire energy. And that might be very telling. Okay. For some of you that had a connection with a fire sign, I feel like this person is always running. Maybe they're a runner, you know, um, and that's for some of you, but it, for most of you, you've got someone who's just full of deception and lies and manipulation and things like that. And even though you want love, you know, somewhere like your intuition tells you, no, I got to block this person. Like I cannot have a connection with them. Like this is a decision that if you haven't already made it, you will be making it. Um, even if you have made it, I do feel like this person is going to try to make that reconnection with you again. And you are going to speak your mind. You're going to say your piece. And I don't think you're going to like, I don't think you're going to be like cruel and critical and harsh or mean. I just feel like you're just going to give it straight, like straight up. Listen, <laughs> listen, let me speak to you. I cannot build anything with a liar. I cannot build something with someone who is in and out of my life. I cannot, we cannot build. You know how long it's going to take me to get this house built? When the, the builders are here once a year or they say they're going to finish the job and then they don't. And, you know, it's very frustrating. And that's one of my analogies. I feel like, Virgo, you're going to give some truth. And it might hurt because the love, the feeling... The connection, you, some of you are like, this is my twin flame. Some of you are like, this is my person, or at least I thought it was. But you know now what, what real love looks like between two people. And like I always say, people who are emotionally secure, right? You can always expect your needs to be met by people who are emotionally secure, who are emotionally stable. You cannot, you, you be insane to expect people who are in, unstable to meet your needs okay and I feel like for some of you this is like oh man I fell in love with a psychiatric patient <laughs> I fell in love with someone who out there on these roller coasters acting a fool and I'm trying to get this person and I'm trying to train them and I'm throwing them some biscuits and I'm like no this is how you gotta do it say it over and over and over and over and they're not getting it and why? Because there might be some immaturity or child, child, childlike behaviors with this person. Okay. Very immature. 
they think they're still six, seven, they're out there playing, you know, and Virgo, you know what, for this is, this is, this won't resonate for all of you. Some of it, you know, I know it will. And I feel like if anything, this might be just more of a guidance message for you, like see things for what they are, not with your rose colored glasses on, get that clarity, give it as well. See things for what they are. That's what that self introspection is about, you know, kind of like, you know, maybe the problem is I just wasn't as I need to be more indifferent to this person. In other words, I need to get myself in a position to say, you know what, I love you and I care, but you are not coming through for me and I can't depend on you. I don't feel safe. And if you're going to come in and because you're coming back and you want everything back, this is about you. This is not about us. Right. And it's selfish. Right. So, you know, coming back with just, oh, I'm sorry. That's bullshit. That's, that's not going to, that doesn't cut it. And, and Virgo, you have to hold people. You have to call people out. You do. People who treat you bad, you got to call them out and then shut your door. You have to, because if you don't call people out or you don't let people know how they're treating you, you've got to have your sword drawn. That's that warrior energy, right? And that doesn't mean you got to go around slashing everybody. You know, you just have to stand up for yourself. And sometimes that means you might feel lonely, you know, because there's a lot of people out there who are just taking advantage of other people. You got to get into boss mode here. If you're not already, you will in October. That's for sure. Some of you are already there and you're like, oh, no. Yep. This is reading for me, but I've already done it. Okay. You've got somebody here who's spying online, who's watching your every move. Yep. Watching your every, every step you take, watching your every move. Some of you are like in this, like, you know what? I need to rethink my career here. Cause I don't know. Something's going on. Maybe you work online. Maybe you do some type of work, um, where everything's online. And you could be seen. You might have a business that's online that you can't go private, so to speak, because it's public, right? As a business should be. So you, some of you might be like, oh, I need to reevaluate. Maybe I need to find a different way to do something here and make money. Because there's some type of connection. I feel like somebody is like watching your every move. And it's, it might just be draining you because they're in and out or they're connecting. Like Some of you just got to block, block, block. You got to block somebody here. Okay. Listen, on a positive note, you've got new love coming in. I know you're, I know you're like, you're looking towards that now in your life. And then you have a new love start coming in here. New love beginnings could be with, um, someone who is already a parent. Okay. Or, um, let's see. Yeah. They're saying for you to open your heart to receive. Also cherish your children your animals and, and like be love, right? You know, I listen to a lot of Joel Osteen. He is so uplifting and positive. And I feel like for some of you, I don't know if you listen to him, if you're, if you're very spiritual or, you know, I know it's a Christian channel and everything, but, um, the uplifting messages, if you're going through a difficult time in your life at this time, um, try it. That's all I can say. Just try it. It's not a requirement. You know, I'm not going to charge you to do it. <laughs> Just try it if it helps. Yeah, you don't even have to be a believer, but I'm, I guarantee you after a while you will believe because those miracles do happen. All right, so sweet text message. I think we already said that because the Page of Cups is here. But for some of you, this is somebody that you're, I feel like you're going to be connecting with someone in October and make a love connection with someone in October. There will be, it'll start with like a sweet text message or some kind of, um, Oh, something very sweet. Some of you have like a, an older female introducing you to someone um, as well. And I feel like there's going to be a connection made with that person. It could be a Gemini. It could be a, um, an earth sign. Okay. Um, oh, yep. Message from an admirer. Well, this is beautiful. I feel like Virgo. Virgo, you're just done. You're like, not today, Satan. It's done. And at least for October, you're not dealing with anything. You're keeping your options open and you're just like, if you ain't got those bloody stumps, you could just keep it moving. I feel like single as a Pringle is better than being like stale in the box. And I don't feel like you're 
you're trying to be that. Some of you may not even wish to be dating, but I know like you're, you're crossing over some kind of boundary. You're making some huge change in your life here in October. And it's all because of your will. Some of you just need, some of you might just say, I accept your apology, but I, do, I don't want this back. I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Take care. And you give someone the closure. Okay. Have faith in your dreams. Wow, that's so beautiful, Virgo. Communication is key. Listen, I'm telling you, if you're afraid to call somebody out because you're going to lose that person, because they're going to be upset with you, you're, gonna, you're afraid to call somebody out that's treating you bad? Are you serious? Uh, no, that's not how that works. Okay, Virgo, if you're afraid to lose somebody, if, if you're afraid that somebody's going to think the worst of you because or they're going to think you're a a B-I-T-C-H or just a horrible person because you're calling them out on shit. No, it's the opposite. That person will respect you even more and even respect you that you have the cojones to stand up for yourself and go live your life, your best life, okay? And to turn around to that person and say, I'm sorry, I am not your mother. I am not your father. I am not responsible for the decisions you make. You're living your life that way. That's on you. Don't bring that shit to my door. <laughs> Who am I channeling? Medea? Who am I channeling? I don't even know. <laughs> there is some spunk coming out in this reading. Is that the name? Is that her name? Medea? I don't know. I'm channeling somebody here. I just need to get a, a romance angel card. I really do for this, for this new love coming in here. This sweet text message is communication. Oh, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. That's all this is, Virgo. Okay, this past stuff, whatever's going on here, I mean, that'll resolve on its own. You just have to take care of you. But as far as somebody new coming in here, this is someone worth waiting for, okay? This is all. Spirit is bringing this, this to you. These are your blessings coming to you, and you just got to have faith and keep the faith that you deserve better. Okay, yeah, a little bit of flirtation. Extend your lighthearted energy to others, Virgo. Get your little flirty flirty on. Smile. If you want, listen, some of you are like, I'm not a good flirt. You don't have to actually flirt. Just smile. All you have to do is smile. Smiling is, is, is flirtatious. Just smile. Okay, give the relationship a chance. All right, so Virgo, your reading was amazing. I you know what? Let me just get one charm. See, I keep trying to end and then I keep going. Okay. Oh, you have a starfish and it's pink. Beautiful. Mm, this might have something to do with your butt. <laughs> Somebody likes your butt, Virgo. Somebody really likes your butt. Oh my goodness. I don't care if you're male or female. I know some guys have some pretty great butts. Yeah. Somebody's really digging your butt. Let me see. You know what? We're not done here. We're not done. All right, we got the charms. Who wants a Chinese sign? I know everybody's like, don't forget the Chinese signs. All right, let's get the Chinese signs. All right, I'm going to do a different round. Okay. Let me see. All right, year of the rabbit. Year of the goat. This is for the past person. Year of the ox. Year of the dog. And for the new person, okay, if it's not you and them, it, you know, it, in other words, like the past person is going to be of that Chinese sign. It doesn't mean your past person, it's not them if this isn't their sign, okay? I feel like I need to give clarity. Um, but it could also be you, so keep that in mind. All right, new person, year of the rat, year of the rooster, year of the snake, year of the horse. And if that is you, it's just a new you. It's just a new you. It's beautiful. I love it. All right. Let's get your. Oh, we had a little dolphin fall out here too. Hmm. Okay. Miami Dolphins maybe. I know. It. I know it's not the Eagles. The Eagles wouldn't just be dropping balls and falling all over the place like that. Okay. Something to do with a dolphin. Very significant. Dolphins are angels of the sea. So you have protection. You're being watched over. Okay. Aquarius Capricorn twice. Taurus. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Valentine's Day. Very significant. Special day for somebody. For most. Okay. Um, August. Okay. It's. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. If, if you're seeing 222, 
a lot and it is the year 2022. If you're seeing 222 a lot, that's very significant. There's a message in there for you because twos represent balance, partnership, diversity, um, duality, choices. So 222, like that's some, there's a message in there for you if you keep seeing it, okay? Coming into balance or partnership with someone as well. And this is going to be someone who's like opposites track kind of thing. There's going to be some kind of difference between you and this person, this new person. Now, caveat, they're just telling me it could be your past person that you're giving some what for to, that you're, that you're like calling them out because there might be some kind of change and shift that happens with this person because you call them out. This is not predictive of you're going to call them out and they're just all of a sudden just, no, you have to do something. You have to, you have to say something. Okay. Did I say Aquarius? I don't know if I said Aquarius, but yeah, Aquarius. Okay. Somebody is 50. I'm hearing, um, August 26th. Um, I'm also getting 311. Okay. Maybe that's somebody's favorite band or it's an address, maybe an area code 311. Okay, somebody's born in 1968, um, September 14th, September 3rd, and the 9th. Okay, did I say Taurus? I can't remember if I said Taurus. Let me see. And I'm also picking up Libra. I think I said Libra. So we have Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, double Sag, okay? Um, yeah. I think we're going to end it there. So that's your reading. I hope you guys, I hope the volume was good and you're able to hear me because like I said, my microphone went, so I'm going to have to get a new one. But um, yeah, I will be back on, I don't even know what today is. What is it? Tuesday? Wednesday. So I'll be back um, tomorrow with your next reading and Thursday for your weekend reading. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Also, don't forget, I'm uploading shorts, daily shorts. And they only let me do it for 60 seconds. I wish I could do it for longer, but they won't let me do it longer than that. That's It has to be like a straight minute or less. So definitely check that out because I'm trying to like give you guys a little extra bonus since I'm only here once a day and I'll try to have them for the weekend as well so you won't have that long stretch without me because I know how much you guys miss me when I'm gone. So, all right, Virgo, that was your reading. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it gave you some insight. Hope it gives you some balls to do what you need to do for yourself. Love you very much, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.